where middle class families rely on charity to feed their children. Austerity does not pick and choose its victims. You sense that some people are beginning to lose the will to fight, but not all. Something quite extraordinary is happening here. All over the country, volunteer organizations are springing up to help the people in the most desperate need. Stepping in where the state has failed. This may look like any other small corner shop, but it's not. Its goods are given away to families who can't afford even the basic necessities. Melina Tezaki was only 14 when she told her mother Ruby she should set up a charity to help the most needy. That was four years ago. Today, they are inscribed 4,500 people. Every day, we have about 60 or 70 families in need. New families, New families asking for your help. Yes, that's, uh, that's a bad surprise. In a sense, I suppose, there is a kind of citizen's army being formed here of volunteers who are saying, states let us down, so we will get together and do it ourselves. When your house is, uh, is in fire, you don't stay des desperate. You do something, and that's what we do. Ruby's operation expands by the day, it has to. Unemployment in Greece is now at 20%. Benefits now stop after a year. More and more once middle-class families are falling into poverty. This apartment is home to a bookkeeper who's been unemployed since her firm went bust. Her husband's a builder who's had hardly any work in the past two years. They're thousands of euros in debt. Would it not for the charity, their three children would go hungry. Moments of fun like this are rare, but the help is not just welcome, it's essential. You have small children. How important is all of this to you? How, how would you manage without all of this? I don't know because we're going through a tough time. My husband's out of work, I'm out of work. We only have my mother's pension of 400 euros a month. It's not enough. Today, I had no food to cook. I didn't know how I was going to feed the children. It's very hard. What is the worst thing about being as poor as you are now? It's put a strain on the relationship with my husband. We are like two strangers. I don't know. I remember life under the generals. This is worse. These are not good times to live in. Before there was work, times were different. Sometimes Maria has to send her children to school without food, and Greece doesn't do free school dinners. In the poorest areas, teachers talk of children fainting in the classroom because they're not getting enough to eat. But it's when children get sick that the real horror of the spending cuts kicks in. <laughs> 